A detailed examination of the crime scene was underway today, well hidden from the public view. Police were also speaking to those who'd seen last night's violence. Witnesses say a gang of Asian youths descended on the Young Lions Cafe, which is used mainly by the local African Caribbean community, and they ransacked it. Fighting broke out with up to 50 people involved. It culminated in the shooting dead of the 27-year-old man. He's been named as Dexter Horace Coleman from West Bowling. Another African Caribbean man was also injured. Local people say the area's had drug problems for years which haven't been tackled. Last night's violence has left them shocked and angry. My kid lives down the road. He's going home, he's pedalling on his bike to go home and he can't get past because they're all fighting and carrying on. He doesn't know what's going on, he's terrified. It's not people around here. I get on with, around here, I've been living with Caribbean people, I've been living with English people, name it, and they're all like family, like family, you know what I mean? End of the day. But a lot of trouble comes from outside, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nearby, an hour earlier, a car driven by an Asian man was attacked by African Caribbean youths. Police are investigating links between the two incidents. We'd like any information on who the people who were involved in the earlier incident involved in the car were, and if anyone has information on that, please contact us. The area remains cordoned off as the search for those responsible for last night's murder continues. Inquiries were concentrated here today. As forensic examinations were carried out, officers were attempting to trace those who witnessed last night's shooting. Local people said things are getting out of hand. I think it's getting worse and worse by day by day. And how do you feel as a resident? Well, I'm getting older by day by day and I'm frightened by myself. I mean, it's really dark uh, nights. I mean, nobody wants to live in an area where, you know, sort of people are going around, you know, popping, you know, using guns. It's, you know... Bad news, isn't it? When police arrived last night, they found the situation tense and one man with gunshot wounds. The 27-year-old from Jamaica was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at hospital. A second man was assaulted, though not shot, his condition stable. This cafe, pictured after a firebomb attack in September, was at the centre of the disturbance and was again badly damaged. There was a uh, serious disturbance uh, outside the cafe to start with, which spilled inside where the man was shot. Uh, a large number of, of people certainly were damaging the, the cafe, uh, upwards of 20. There were customers inside. This bookies was robbed in the aftermath of the shooting. Those who live and work here say nothing's ever done. No, nothing since this incident. I mean, we had uh, just over a year ago, and, uh, you know, we asked for, you know, the police and the council to get involved and maybe, you know, find some kind of a solution to the problem we got around here. I mean, everybody knows what the problem is. And, uh, you know, the community down here is being intimidated. You shouldn't be terrified going up your own street. And the people around here are terrified. It's wrong. The police should clamp down. Whatever's going on, sort it out once and for all. Just before this incident, a Vauxhall Amiga driven by an Asian man was damaged by a gang of Afro-Caribbean youths in Green Lane. Police say it may be connected and want witnesses to both. The Bishop of Bradford has appealed for calm after a weekend of violence in the city. It follows two separate incidents and comes just over a fortnight after one man, Dexter Coleman, was shot dead. Some residents living in the West Bowling area of the city have accused the police of not doing enough to crack down on crime. This report from our crime correspondent, John Cundy. A bullet hole in the wall of a house in Bradford. Cartridge marks on the road the car in which two men were fired at, all signs of the latest in Bradford's round of shootings and kidnappings. Yeah, one lad was bad, who got shot on the back, both sides, two shot, and the other lad got shot on the legs. And when I uh, seen them, and they were very, very badly worried, and I says, it's best to ring the police because it's uh, not a little thing, it's a very bad thing. Residents want quicker police action even after the 16 arrests already made over the incidents. The way it's been handled at the moment, there's not a lot of police around here at the moment. I mean, it was only Saturday, so this should still be at least scouring the place to find out what's going on, but I don't see that. A lot of people worried locally? Yeah, they are, yeah. Very worried. There's a lot of people won't go out. You know, all the people around this corner won't go out at night. I think it's scandalous. Yeah. All the shootings that have been going on in Bradford just lately. There have been four shootings in the past fortnight in various parts of the city. The latest came this weekend in addition to a kidnapping. A shrine marks the spot where Jamaican Dexter Coleman was shot dead. 
The crimes have left the city's bishop pleading for calm. There's a very real anxiety. It may be portrayed as racial violence and interracial violence, and it isn't. It is gang warfare. It is to do with a criminal lifestyle. But people are really very tired of it, and I tried publicly to articulate what they've been saying to me. But campaigners for Dexter Coleman's family are sensitive to some tensions between their minority community and Bradford's Asians. The Asian community and the Bradford community as a whole have got to find ways in which we're going to live together and, and, and benefit from a quality of life that we aspire to. We are all here to, to, to work together, we live together in peace and harmony and I think uh, this is the message that I want to get across to the local communities. Whatever the tensions, police say they're determined to hunt down Bradford's young criminal gangs. One of the men shot at uh, on Saturday was only 16 years old, so it, it's sinister, it's of great concern to us, but we're taking positive action, we're doing something about it. With the public's help, we'll get these people put away. But Dexter Coleman's shrine is a reminder of how dangerous those gangs are proving. John Cundy, BBC Look North, Bradford. People of all races took to the streets to call for peace and pay tribute to Dexter Coleman, shot dead in Lum Lane two weeks ago. We want Bradford to be a peace, peaceful community for white, black and Asian. So that's why one of the reasons we get the match. I think the actions of a few people uh, have, have shown that the, the people firing off, uh, off firearms in the street is totally unacceptable to the population. Since the killing, there's been a string of unrelated gun attacks across the city, including two drive-by shootings and an abduction. It's bad. It's bad for the area. It's bad for the community. It's bad for everybody. It's just frightening. It's really, you know, the police about all the time. You're on edge all the time. You know, wonder when it's going to kick off. The peace campaigners say they're satisfied with the police response to the unrest in the city, which has resulted in nine men appearing in court on charges of violent disorder, wounding and kidnap. But they're still appealing for help to catch Dexter Coleman's killer. Black is just a memory of him. Just to show that people don't forget and respect, respected him. And just let people know that we're sorry for what happened. It was a tragic incident and we hope that nothing don't happen again. So we just wanted to make a, um, a point that we're just going to put a plaque up and remember Dexter as he was. <laughs>